This is an MFJ uh, 8100 uh, World Band shortwave radio uh, that uh, was sold as a kit. I did not build the kit myself. I purchased this at a uh, at a ham fest already uh, constructed, and uh, whoever did the construction uh, did a good job. It works uh, pretty well. And this is a uh, a regenerative receiver is uh, not something that uh, most people encounter every day. It is a much simpler circuit than the uh, the standard uh, super heterodyne uh, radio that uh, that we typically use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a much simpler circuit and uh, therefore it uh, uh, is a little tricky to uh, to deal with and uh, is not as sensitive as uh, as other receivers but still a lot of fun to play with <clears throat> and very easy uh, to uh, to build from a kit this uh, this this radio covers uh, five shortwave bands I'm on um, band C right now and uh, listening to a uh, an international broadcast station that's just um, uh, a little bit below uh, 10 megahertz and you will notice in addition to the controls that you expect to see a band switch a uh, tuning control and volume that we also have this knob here marked regeneration and uh, basically the way uh, this uh, regenerative receiver works is it uh, it uses uh, uses feedback to greatly increase the uh, amplification ability of the uh, of the stages that are there so if I turn the uh, regeneration control down, which effectively reduces the uh, the amount of uh, feedback, we don't hear anything. If I turn it up too high, we obviously get uh, a, a squeal because it's excessive. So the uh, an excessive amount of feedback. So what we have to do whenever we tune in a station is adjust the regeneration control so that we have enough signal to be able to hear the station but not so much that uh, that we get feedback so with the regenerative receiver you have to constantly be be uh, tweaking this uh, this control here uh, looking for a middle ground and uh, if you uh, if you tune around sometimes you have to uh, adjust this obviously there's no point in tuning if regeneration is set so low that you don't hear anything so typically what you would do is set it just a little bit past the point where you start to hear things and then you uh, and then you begin to tune around and once you uh, once you land on a uh, once you land on a station then at that point you would adjust the uh, the regeneration control And so we've tuned in. That's that same station, but we've now tuned it in. And uh, so we adjust regeneration so that it's comfortable to listen to. So a simple receiver to uh, to play with. Bound to be a lot of fun to uh, to build it as a kit. And uh, a receiver that's quite a bit different from uh, what, uh, what we uh, use on a daily basis.